Good afternoon, good morning or good evening, depending on the time zone you're in. Welcome to What Matters Now TV. So this first session, our guest will be Navi Raju. Hi, how are, how are you guys doing? You talked about the future of work is inner work. And I found that intriguing. And could you perhaps explain what, what you mean with the future of work is inner work and what the shape of the recovery is? Might be a V, a W or uh, a why all of us are hoping for a v-shaped recovery right so essentially we are hoping that the recession will bottom out by end of the year and then early next year we can have a rapid recovery and get back to normal mm. so essentially the idea is to use 2020 as an opportunity if you are a company to go deep within yourself uh, decathlon is a company that has uh, 94,000 employees in uh, about uh, 57 countries how we imagine the vision to be implemented is to organize ourselves in a network of vision cities. They are present in uh, 1,000 uh, cities around the world. They have 1,700 stores, so it's a, it's a big global company. You, you also brought a very interesting uh, idea that they came up with dealing with the COVID-19 crisis. I mean, they saved the lives of, uh, at least they gave away 10,000 masks and uh, uh, 10,000 units have been 3D printed, right, uh, to adapt the mask into ventilator. So that means that they have saved thousands of lives uh, across the world. I designed personally three different covers of your upcoming book, and, and it's uh, an honor for, for me to have you choose one of them. That seems more like a book for my, you know, 16-year-old niece. I came up with uh, just three principles. So, uh, and uh, do you want me to share them? Yeah, I was already thinking your next book will probably only have one principle, but anyhow, <laughs> so. Well, uh, th there is one principle, and, and when you see the slide coming up, you know, I, w I will show you guys. So you talked about your next book. I, I asked you, you said, okay, there is one, so what, what would be the one? I think the one would be the notion that, uh, you know, it's what matters in life is quality. You now look at here, right, New York, right? This is the cap world capital of capitalism, right? So, <laughs> so, so, and you go around, you see skyscrapers, right? It's all about how big and tall you are. So we need to shift from a quantifying approach to life yeah. to a qualifying approach to experiencing life. So you, why, you now? why now? Why you, now? You're absolutely right. Well, I think why now is that essentially just look at our children, right? I mean, essentially look at our, uh, the younger generations, right? The Gen Y and Gen Z are more conscious. That means they're more socially conscious. They're more, mm. uh, you know, Greta Thunberg, right? She's not even mm. Generation Z. She's the next one, which is Generation uh, Alpha. Mr. Prajaputi. Was it spelled correctly or? Uh, Mansuk pra Prajapati. 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 That's right. Okay. This image stayed with Mansuk, who set out to create a refrigerator made of 100% clay. This is my first model. Fruits, vegetables, and dairy products can be kept at a temperature 15 to 20 degrees Celsius lower than that of the outside air, without electricity, thanks to the water poured into this chamber. It also shows how one citizen, right, with the no, you know, advanced degree, uh, can actually make a huge difference. And how does it work? In, 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 in what way? The fridge. Oh, the fridge. Oh, it's called the principle of evaporation. So it's actually a physics principle. So as an engineer, of course, we all know this, because as an economist, as Menno is, he is, he is really <laughs> amazed with this, right? Clueless here. <laughs> Before we start sitting around campfires and singing Kumbaya, my lord, um, what does this conscious society actually mean for large corporations? What it means for large companies is a shift in mindset. Remember again, right, if we go back to the Y-shaped recovery, we talked about the importance of uh, challenging your perspective, right, how we see the world. But you know that there are a couple of companies that are making the shift uh, of creating value just for customers and shareholders to creating value for society at large. What, is it the conscious society, a, is it a dream? What do you think? Oh, uh, but I, I think that in this society we absolutely need dreams. How about, and I know this is dangerous, how about conscious political leaders? You can think about this question we got from the audience, from Hans Brooks, 
What are your suggestions to a company like Capgemini SOGT to transform into a conscious company? Maybe suggesting that we are not conscious, I don't know, but... Uh, we, we, are, we are unconscious or... Uh, I don't know what uh, Hans is suggesting here, okay. but uh, that's for after the video maybe, but... And actually in the hinterland, that is essentially in the farming communities of America, uh -huh. where you begin to hear uh, cowboys talking about saving the planet, which is very surreal. Animals out of the animal factories and getting them back on the land. Uh, nature wants a smorgasbord of many, many different animals and plants and microbes operating together to create a harmony which restores the health of your land is that impressive <laughs> and inspiring <laughs> it's always as always great to talk to you keep well start finishing your book and <laughs> putting in putting it in our hands in the next couple of months thanks very much her book is called deep fakes and the infocalypse so I would almost say, if you're optimistic about the future now, after watching Navi, visit us next month. I'm not sure whether we will be as optimistic <laughs> <laughs> um, as this talk. Thank you so much, uh, Navi. Thanks for having me, guys.